I'm Susan LeBlanc, and this is Conversations with the Goodman School of Business. My guest today is Paul Forcina. Hello. Welcome, Paul. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. You are an MBA student, almost ready to graduate. Two, uh, 13 days away. You're 13 days away. <laughs> yeah. And you are our current and just named uh, Co-op Student of the Year. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we, and you've got a really interesting background. You've, you've, you've just completing the MBA in Business Analytics. Yes. And uh, but you've come from a different background. You didn't take a business degree to in your undergrad. No, I um, actually started in uh, psychology here, mm -hmm. um, and ended up getting through uh, the honors program there and completed a thesis uh, focusing more in forensic psychology as well. And then I was looking at uh, potential for other areas to apply uh, statistical knowledge and analytical knowledge, and having conversations with some students that were in Goodman, and as well as Dr. Ayanzo, who I had just met at the time, who's uh, the head of the analytics department. He uh, showed me some of the different w methods I can use to apply the statistical and analytical knowledge I have, and the Goodman School, with regards to the analytics program, was a really good fit for what I wanted to do. Yeah, so uh, off, off you came here to the Goodman School of Business, yeah. uh, into the business analytics program yes. two years later, um, you d and you did co-op through it. Were you yes. in co-op in psychology? I wasn't actually. I'm more focused uh, on the theoretical aspects right. and going through and just spending more time on data and doing some work in the labs, but I did go through, obviously, the co-op here with the Goodman School, and I was yeah. happy I did. Yeah, and you, so your uh, last co-op term was with the cooperators? Yeah, I actually have done two. I did one after my first year um, at Goodman, and I ended up taking um, an extra year on with the MBA because there was a few other things I wanted to do with the mm -hmm. program and get the second co-op. So I did two terms with the uh, cooperators and uh, the first term was more about learning how data and business knowledge can be gained from that data and proper formatting, cleaning of the data, doing those aspects which allowed me for my second term to come in and work specifically on an analytics project. Basically I got the background knowledge of how the company do, uses their processes to gain insight, now is actually using tools to develop those insights. So in actuality of being able to do a second term and in some instances for some co-op students, do an eight-month term, you're able now to get those baseline knowledge in the first half and then the second half go out there and actually come up with some business solutions that will help the company. Right, and that has led to uh, full-time employment yes. once you graduated, so yeah. you're all set. Yeah, May 15th, I uh, officially start full-time with the cooperators. Fantastic. Yeah. And all of that experience also led you to be named the co-op student of the year. Yes, yeah. So what... What makes you the co-op student of the year? What 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 did you have to do to to get that designation? Well, um, I was actually a little bit taken aback by it, yeah. but uh, my, my boss was made aware of it, I believe, uh, sometime in the middle of the summer and talking to somebody from the co-op office, and he came and told me, you know, this is an opportunity mm -hmm. for you. And I had asked, you know, would you be willing to write me a letter of uh, recommendation for the award? He's like, absolutely. He was really happy with what I did. So what ends up happening, if you want to do it, you have to write a formal letter of what you've done in your co-op term. Your boss writes a formal, uh, formal letter. And I was really lucky because some of my former, student, uh, former students, I'm a TA in psychology right now, had gotten wind that I was applying. And many of them were nice enough to offer to write recommendation letters for me, and which aren't necessary, but they do help at the end of the day. So sure. they were nice enough to put those in and a few other packages, uh, pieces of the package, excuse me, had to be done, just formal paperwork. Mm -hmm. and. Off it went, and you go to the nomination committee, and you hear uh, around uh, mid-February, early March, uh, whether or not you won. Yeah, and we had a, a really nice opportunity to present you with the award. Yes. It ac actually happened just by coincidence the mm. same day that we were uh, launching our business analytics center. Yep. So you and the cooperators were there, because mm. the cooperators are a, a partner with us mm. in the business analytics center. And you were there, and so we were able to present the award to you at that event. That mm. must have felt... A little special? It, it was really nice. I really, uh, I thank Dr. Ayanzo. It was originally that I was supposed to get my award at a different location, mm -hmm. and um, my uh, boss, as well as my VP from the cooperators, was kind enough to come down and uh, see me get the award and also wanted to be there for the launch of the analytics center. And Dr. Ayanzo was really nice to say, you know, we'll coordinate this so we can make it part of the event. So I was really thankful for him to, you know, basically consolidate everything yeah. for us. But it was absolutely an exciting day. You know, mm -hmm. the award was really nice, but I was really happy to see uh, the turnout that we had for the analytics mm -hmm. center. There were a ton of companies that were there, tons of networking, a lot of former students actually. Yeah. Uh, 
like we were talking about uh, earlier, Reagan Fitzgerald, Tyler yeah. Heisinger, who are former analytics grads, Reagan, who won co-op student of the year a few years ago, they came back for the event just to you know, get back in and see where the uh, center is going now because it's been slowly building over time. So it was really nice to see a lot of former students and what they've been working on and you know, continuing to forward analytics in business and at the same time come back and coordinate with individuals like Dr. Ianzo and give some insight on where the center should go. That's right. And uh, business analytics, uh, we heard this loud and clear at the launch of the center, mm -hmm. is a really hot employment opportunity right now. It, it is by far, in my personal opinion, uh, in the business world, just growing exponentially compared mm -hmm. to anything else. It is, there's no match right now. Um, there was a nice speaker that came there as one gave a mm -hmm. fantastic 25-minute presentation yeah. just breaking down how analytics has been used and the various facets, not just in business, but in a lot of non-for-profit areas and government areas and what it's been able to accomplish in these areas. And just talking to some of the companies that were there, it's so interesting to see that there are various companies that are actually reaching out to other companies and saying, what are you doing with regards to analytics and could your potential solutions be something we can adapt into our company? So you're seeing even more cross-collaboration between different mm -hmm. companies across industries and gaining insights and tools and what they can use to make better decisions. It was just a fantastic day and a fantastic event there. And, and I think she actually even said, there are more job openings than there are people who have. So it, it yeah. really, it, it's, a, it's a place to be. It's, yeah. re it's really incredible, yeah. the demand for people that can do this right now. Yeah. Like I myself had various interviews with different people before I went back to the cooperators and just talked about you know the openings. And I was really happy where I was with the cooperators, but just finding out how many people are trying to get into this is absolutely incredible. And... In different facets of business, people don't really think it would apply, like one of them being HR. Mm -hmm. HR analytics is absolutely one of the biggest growing or just in that infancy age where they're about to explode right now because there's so many different insights that can be gained from all that right. data with regard to HR, whether it be who to hire, how people are doing with regards to performance, how engaged they are. Mm -hmm. It's just the the... Limit, there's very little limitations with regards to what analytics yeah, can do yeah. in business. And I think one of the other key messages, too, is you don't have to have a math background. I think that's a misconception that you yeah. have to be a, a math or computer science person to get into analytics. Not at all. Oh, no. You can come from any background. Not at all. You know, yeah. a, a stats background does help, but the yeah. thing is there's courses within the Goodman School that prepare you right. for the analytics aspects. That I haven't encountered a student yet that says, you know, I didn't have the appropriate training before I went into this course, I feel like I'm, you know, a little bit back. You're really taken on a step-by-step -step process down the road, but it also sets you up to do some independent work on your own and see different technologies that are out there that you can go out and adapt or take free courses online, other mm -hmm. pieces. And what you find with a lot of the analytics students now is they'll learn one type of software, they'll be given a quick tutorial at the end of class by former students that come in to show them different software you can use and different techniques. And the next thing you know, they're knocking on the doors of these guest visitors saying, how can I get involved in this? How can I learn these new softwares? How can I apply these techniques to various aspects? And it's really, really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming by, and congratulations on being Co-op Student of the Year. Thank you very much. I appreciate you yeah. having me. Thank you, and thank you for stopping by and listening to us, and hopefully we'll chat soon.